all right so in this video i want to talk about sliding window attention so in the last video i uh, talked about what is self attention then the multi head attention and what is masked multi head attention so if you haven't watched that video please go ahead and watch that video because to understand uh, the sliding window attention which is being used in mistral models you need to understand the very basic concepts of uh, mask multi head attention right now let's uh, get started with what is sliding window attention right so as i mentioned in the last video i talked about self attention mechanism so what we do in case of self attention mechanism is we multiply q with k transpose then to minimize the variance of this dot product we divide it by the square root of k which is nothing but the embedding size and uh, once that is done we will get a attention uh, matrix right so uh, in this multi head attention we generally do in case of the decoder side right and in the decoder side the main task of the decoder is to uh, produce the next best uh, token or the word nec so to avoid the cheating what we will do is we will we will mask the future tokens with negative infinity right and once we apply the softmax this negative infinities will become uh, zero right but in case of uh, sliding window attention what we are doing is we are picking up a size of a window so here for this example we are mentioning the size is equals to 3 right so it will every token will have a window size of 3 right so for this if i just take about the last example for this need token right so uh, it will have uh, only the sliding window size of 3 and all the other tokens so this is like the first token for this word this is second and this is third right and all the other tokens which are available in this uh, particular uh, for this particular token that will be marks to minus infinity and once we apply the uh, softmax this will become to uh, this will become as zero right so similarly for this token right u right so here also like we are applying a sliding window attention so only it will have access to this first second and third token so the other token which is present here that will be marks to minus infinity and that will become zero once we apply the softmax right now why we need to apply a uh, sliding window attention right so in case of sliding window attention what we are doing is we are focusing on the local context which is like the recent past rather than the context which is uh, like far far back which can be irrelevant for the current token also right and this will also can reduce the number of dot products uh, that we need to do right so once we uh, get the attention uh, matrix then we multiply with the value vector right and then we get the uh, context aware embedding so if we are masking out um, these things to zero then the dot product will be uh, reduced significantly for the future uh, operations right so that is one of the benefit like the operations can be uh, much more uh, faster when doing this matrix multiplication operation as we are reducing the uh, dot products significantly by uh, applying a window on this uh, context of each of these input tokens then the question comes is will this uh, degrade the performance right so with a proper example i will try to show this will not have an impact on the performance the performance will remain as it is uh, and uh, but we will gain the performance in case of like inference time and also uh, it, the irrelevant context will be like thrown away and on only the relevant context will be used for doing the uh, attention mechanism right and this is the basic concept of sliding window attention now let's talk about uh, how it looks like and why we are saying that it will not have an impact on the performance right so this is actually uh, this image is from the mistral paper so we we can see in case of vanilla attention the all the elements that are above the diagonal element is marked out to zero right for the decoder so mistral is kind of a decoder based model so uh, it it the basic operation or the basic uh, job it has to do is to predict the next base token right so that's why the future tokens are marked to zero but in case of sliding window attention the future tokens are also marked to zero but after a certain window those uh, values are also zeroed out so you can see like these values are also zeroed out here right so uh, that is the concept what we have in case of sliding window attention 
the values which are above the diagonal uh, that is also zero and also this uh, based on the sliding window like here we are considering three as sliding window so all these values are only considering three here we do not have any further uh, past context so we are considering two only and for this uh, token it is only like the first token that will be considered uh, during the uh, further dot products in this while calculating the attention mechanism so uh, so what this paper talks about is the effective context length is context length is very much same in case of the vanilla attention now why it is saying that so if i just take the example of this uh, token right so it is looking into only this uh, few tokens right but in turn this token is looking into the other uh, this tokens right and again this token is kind of looking into the all other tokens that are present here so this is the concept which you can relate to convolutional neural network right so once we like pass through a filter or a kernel it may look into the uh, uh, for a single uh, single window but once we stack multiple layers of cnn so you can think that it also looking into the other the full context of the image right so as we mentioned uh, if you remember the architecture which i have drawn so this uh, attention uh, part or this uh, window is kind of uh, stacked on top of each other which is like nx times right so using multiple layers we can say that using the sliding window attention it will not lose the context and it will have actually the full context for a particular token right so it can look at all the past future tokens that are present if we are stacking multiple layers of uh, sliding window attention right so this is actually the benefit of using sliding window attention we are gaining in terms of inference speed but we are also not reducing the model performance uh, by stacking multiple layers of this sliding window attention right now let's uh, talk about the example which we have and see how this uh, how this sliding window attention does not have any uh, impact on the model performance so if i just take this example like which i have been talking through the attention is all you need so we have this 5 cross 5 matrix where the diagonal uh, the elements that are present above the diagonal are maxed out to zero and also the uh, context that are uh, beyond the sliding window of three that is also maxed to zero right so once we uh, do that so if i just visualize the context le uh, context length for each of this token so attention token can have only uh, uh, this as the context length right so is can look into only attention uh, pass token right all is kind of looking into the this two tokens and u is looking into this uh, two tokens is and all right so this is nothing but what we have here in this matrix itself so if i just talk about u which is uh, present here it can look at the only this past two tokens along with its own token right and uh, similarly for the last token which is need it is looking into the uh, the u and also the all token so it, you might think that yeah now we are having we are getting a performance issue b b issue because the last token which is need is only looking at the past two tokens but this is what we are doing at the layer one now if we stack multiple layers of sliding window attention what we are doing is we are uh, taking this uh, as input so if i just take the pin so this will become the input for this matrix and uh, we are kind of creating a similar 5 cross 5 matrix uh, with this architecture right and also we are masking out the tokens which are uh, kind of beyond the sliding window size of 3 right so your first token is attention then the second token is attention is so this is actually the second token this is your third token so this is your attention is all then we have the is all you this is actually the uh, second last token and this is actually the third last token right so which is represented here right and all the uh, values which are beyond the size of window equals to three those are marks to zero so what we can see here right and after that if i just again uh, calculate like for each token what is the context it is looking at the past so for the last token if i just take the example of need so need is actually looking into so this is need right so let me clear this screen 
and again take the pin so this need so this is the last token right so this is which is actually uh, the token which is associated with need right which is actually this token right so this token is actually is being represented here and this is actually looking into these two tokens right so this two token is if you look at this if you take the unique tokens out of this this is actually attention is all you so this is actually looking into the past four tokens right so if you just take the unique tokens for this last two window it is actually looking at the full context of your inputs sequence right so that's why we are kind of saying that if we stack multiple layers of sliding window it will not lose out any information but we can significantly reduce the dot products and which can in turn uh, give a boost in the uh, inference time and also it will keep the, uh, the output of the performance metrics as same as it is in case of vanilla attention right so this is actually the concept that is being used in uh, mistral models and uh, i hope you got a good understanding of what this sliding into attention is and with this i will end this video um, and i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe and also share this uh, content with your friends and colleagues thank you see you in the next video with a new concept uh, in this series